Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're gonna figure out how to get our devices back after software update six. You may have come in here to your control section and found that you've got VJoy devices, button boxes from Leo Bodnar, uh, maybe an Arduino device. And for some reason after software update six, your device config is gone and there's no getting it back. If you had over 80 different events mapped to say a VJoy device, like I had on one of my VJoy devices for all of my cameras, there's a way, just takes a little bit of work. So first thing we wanna do is we want to set something up. So you would have had nothing. It would have been default, gone, previous profile doesn't exist. Obviously I've already done this and fixed it for one of them. What you need to do is go to your preset manager and we're gonna make a new profile, right? And we're gonna call this VJoy Video Demo. Now that we've done this, and hit apply and save. Now one of the pieces that's key in all this is you have to be out of the sim. So now that you've set this up, you need to go and you need to exit out to the main menu. So go ahead, let the sim shut down, and then away we go. So quit to the desktop. So now that we've shut down Microsoft Flight Sim and it's not running, we're going to want to come into our Microsoft Flight Simulator folder. Now, one of the prerequisites I highly recommend is download Notepad++ and install it. It's a great XML editor, makes it easier to uh, have everything tagged and seen than just using regular Notepad. Under your local disk, wherever you install Microsoft Flight Sim, in my case, it's under my C drive, app data, local, packages, Microsoft Flight Simulator with the blah, 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 blah. So you need to go into system app data under WGS under this, whatever this folder long form, because there's nothing under that T. So it's all under this. These are your folders with your devices. Now, if I look at date modified, you're going to notice that a bunch of these still show right now when we did this. So something in here uh, resaved. So when we hit that apply and save button, things that were active. So you do have to basically go into these things one by one. Right click, edit with notepad plus plus. Now we got lucky. The first one is that last uh, file that we created. So this is now the version that the sim can read. So I can see this profile name for that device. It's for my VJoy device, this GUID ID, because that's what's going to apply it to. So that's good. We're going to leave that one there. And now we're going to go hunting for our old one. Now I'm going to jump further down and I have no idea. Okay, that was pure luck. Uh, I can't believe I found it on the first go. So here was my old one, VJoy space spad.next. And you could see it didn't pull this one through and update it to that same header as what you see in the other one. Now, all we need to do though, is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to copy all of the rest of the events into it. So you see that you've got this device and then there is a device uh, tag that we need to add. So we're going to go ahead and this is what was also nice is we can just collapse everything. And so we want to go ahead and we want to grab all of this so we're gonna paste it and I'm pretty sure we need to take that slash out because you have the slash device 
pretty sure that what we have to do is take that out. Now, if we want to, and then, so if we want to, we could come up here uh, to one of these, and you can see that it's got, um, yeah, no slash after that because you have the slash device which closes that tag. So now all we have to do is save this. So now that we've saved this, it has put that file back into that folder, saved it as is. So I'm going to go ahead and you could leave this open, but we'll close it. And now you want to go ahead and fire up Microsoft Flight Sim again. Now that we've got the sim back up and loaded and we've gone back into our control devices, head on over to your device, click on it, and you'll see that you now have all of your configuration and assignments are back. That's right, everything's there, you've recovered it, you don't need to go back in and reset up and define your devices. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Come along next time. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.